Hello. Um, quick question and answer in the comments. Do I sound different at all? Because I was ill the last couple of weeks, and I'm I'm ill now, but in a different way. And I was just wondering if I sounded different. Just a weird question, I guess. Also, Ben's ill, so he will sound different on Sunday, unless he's better by Sunday, which is unlikely. But uh, the upside of both of us being ill is the fact that it gives us a lovely, nice, easy intro idea for... Starting off the news this week, a massive region of the Milky Way galaxy has been discovered as a 9,000 light year long star nursery cluster. As the name suggests, this is an area where stars will be born, and this information comes from the Gaia Space Telescope launched by the European Space Agency in 2013. By astronomical standards, this region of space is actually quite close to our own star, only 500 light years away. The region of star nurseries has been named the Radcliffe Wave, and the findings were published in the journal Nature. Some very sad news next, as a new study published recently has found that one of the largest fish in the world, the Chinese paddlefish, has gone extinct. These were big freshwater fish that grew, on average, to about 10 feet in length, although some could get up to 23 feet or 7 meters. They were recognisable for their paddle-shaped snouts and inhabited the Yangtze River and its tributaries in China. The study has found that the fish likely died out between 2005 and 2010, with the last sighting of a live fish being in 2003, and the species already becoming functionally extinct in 1993. It seems the species had started to decline since the 70s, with overfishing and dam building resulting in the populations being cut off from each other being the main causes of their disappearance. Sadly, this species really is gone for good, as there are none in captivity and no tissue samples are left of the animal, so there's no way to bring them back. This study states how this extinction serves as a lesson in conservation, with more surveying needed to better monitor the conditions of species, as well as how the Yangtze fauna urgently need help before more extinctions occur. In the paleontology news this week, a brand new genus and species of ichthyosaur has been named. Called Acute Palin Caranzai, this is a new kind of ophthalmosaurid, dating back to the Upper Jurassic of North Mexico. This is a pretty complete specimen, and due to the many unique anatomical traits identified in the skeleton, it has allowed paleontologists to establish a new genus and species of these marine reptiles, as well as furthering our understanding of these creatures' diversity in this region during the Jurassic. That's it for 7 Days of Science this week. Sorry it's a short one, but like I said, we're both ill. Hope you have a wonderful week, and we'll see you on Sunday.